Hello and welcome to Planet Destiny. I'm your host, Briar Rabbit, for Community Spotlight number 23. This week we have an awesome top five, but first, let's take a look at our honorable mentions. First up, a Reddit user who commissioned a blacksmith to make a real hunter's knife. As you can see, the results are very cool. Next up, Cami Cakes Gaming shows us how to no scope in Destiny. Step number three, aim down sights with the sniper and use that tiny circle you cut out to attach it to the center of your screen. It'll look like a tiny gray dot. Skellington Dan is up next asking, what you know about that space magic? Lost the lead. Gains the lead. And our final honorable mention for this week, Dr. Buddha shows off his 3D printed ghost. And there you have the finished product, one 3D printed ghost from the game Destiny. If you'd like to 3D print your own Dinklebot, head on over to Thingiverse for the files you'll need. Now on to our top five and coming in at number five, we have Tower Ghost for Destiny. This Destiny item manager is very cool. What it basically allows you to do is move weapons and armor from one character to another very easily. Simply click on the item in question and just move it right on over. This thing makes your life inside of Destiny much, much easier because you have to spend less time moving characters back and forth to the tower to transfer items. It also has some really cool other features. You can actually set it up to filter uh, what kind of weapons you're looking at, uh, what set they come from, uh, to make your life just a little bit easier when you're trying to find those items. Also, you can set specific loadouts, which is very nice and very convenient. So if you're running the Crota's End Raid, a lot of times what I'll do is I have a, a few specific weapons here uh, that I want to use almost every time I do the Crota's End Raid. Uh, I can select all these weapons in my Crota's End Raid set and just move them over to the character that I'll be using. Uh, this is a really convenient feature. It makes life much, much easier. I highly recommend checking this thing out. It's available for your Chrome browser. It's available for uh, Android phones. It's soon to be available for iPhones as well. Uh, this thing is great. It's gonna make your life much easier. Check it out. In our number four slot, YouTuber Scamperoo shows off his 57 kill Mark of the Unbroken Metal. Show him the true meaning of war. And we capture the whole scene. Well done. I could have used your talents in the field. Coming in at number three, TC Prawn is back with another Destiny soundtrack drum cover. This time, it's the War Mind. Now on to our number two. Have you ever wondered what exotic sparrows might look like? Well, some Reddit users have too, and using Photoshop, they've shown us. Be sure to check out the links in the article to their Reddit profiles so you can keep track of their work in the future. Finally, in at number one, Derek is back. You may remember him last week from when we featured his video, Cerebral Palsy Player Beats Crota with His Feet. Well, this week, he's soloing the Crota's End Bridge. That's gonna do it for this week's Community Spotlight. As always, make sure to check out the links below to all of this week's items. Subscribe to Planet Destiny for more Destiny goodness, and you can also help me out by stopping by the Briar Rabbit channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.